clue. And we are, of course, live on the big one. We're live on Facebook. We're live on Twitch. We're live on YouTube. And we're live on TikTok. Welcome to all the TikTokers, I say. So lovely to have you with us and a big thank you do. So there we go. And uh, let's go live on TikTok. Lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome. Scotty McClure, of course, with you live on the phone in. Friday night, nothing gets past me. And a big dinky do to every single one of you. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty. It's Karim. Ah, Karim. Excellent. <laughs> are you are you phoning us from Cumberland? I am. I'm in the city of Kalayo, facing the castle. How and I'm off. <laughs> How wonderful. And did you have a lovely run down? Uh, at the start, to be fair, I didn't. Ah. The roads were absolutely chock-a-block. Oh, really? Uh, it wasn't until you got well past, as it Les me Hago, ah. that the roads started to get a bit better. The gow. Mind you, are there not roadworks out that road? There was no roadworks at all. To be fair, I thought it would have been. I don't, and maybe just everybody, because it's a holiday weekend. Oh, really? Uh, but it was very, very bad. And wow. I don't want to detail, but it was absolutely bursting for the toilet. So that didn't help being stuck in <laughs> No, no, not so good, Kareem, actually. We need a, a, a wee bit of crisis management there. <laughs> so, but got there in the end. Um, when I arrived at the rented house, uh, the people that were here before me didn't leave the permit because you know what the parking's like in the city centre. Oh, wow. So, yeah, so I had to get that organised. So I thought, right, I went to Haysham uh, Park with the dogs. The, the owner came and dropped another permit off. So it's all good now. Oh, fantastic, Karim. You're all, you're all sorted. I'm just That's doing a wee bit of camera adjustment. There we are. That's better. How's the lighting looking tonight? Can you see me all right? Uh, I haven't seen you yet because I'm speaking the phone, but I'll ah. put you on after the call. Excellent. Let us know how things are. Very, very successful phone in last night. Huge plaudits about it, by the way. Oh, right. Yes. And we're getting, we're building all the time. We're building on Twitch. So I hope yes. everyone's watching on Twitch tonight. Yes. Hello, Twitchers. Hello, Twitchers. <laughs> And hello to all our YouTubers. Yes, yes. Well, I'm just, I'm looking at Kaleo here and I'm just seeing, I don't know if you've been out in the car today, Scotty, but the petrol stations, people are panic buying. Oh, really? Oh, they but need to be stopping this. Yes, because that's not going to get them any further down the road, do they not realise? Shortages are going to come a lot quicker if yes. people are starting to panic. Back. Yes. Um, and that was at the supermarkets, ah. uh, petrol stations. Uh, so, and when I came down to Carlisle, the, the Sainsbury's, if you know, beside the castle, it was very busy as well. The people tuned to get in. Tuned to get in, panic bank. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. When will people ever learn? There's plenty of everything to go around. We just need to. Get the deliveries properly scheduled. Yes, like the toilet paper that we had at the start of the That's day. right. Yeah, I hope they don't start going back to all that again. <laughs> I love the humour that comes out in people that were saying willing to swap four bed house in London for two toilet rolls. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Unbelievable. So, Scott, I don't have anything really to say tonight. Like no, I think we'll just have a free-for-all tonight. I mean, it's Friday night. And, uh, you know, I think we'll just build up the joy, as they say. Yes. I had a look at that. Is it Gilt Park you were talking about? Gilt Woods. Gilt Woods, sorry. And a lot of the, the path, I just thought it was like a duck path. Well, it I is. It's fairly muddy. I don't know if you've got your wellies. Yeah, I thought I'm not going to go on it because, obviously, if I'm renting somebody's house out, the dogs are walking. Ah. I just thought it wouldn't be fair to bring that back to their house. Absolutely. Very sensible thinking. Maybe wait for the better weather coming in now. It is quite muddy. It can be quite muddy. Yes. You know, because you've got the river beside and, you you know, you've got the water running down the banks. Yes. Yeah. So, I, I would say, I went to Haitian Park and there's another two in the centre here. And then... Well, you've got Bits Park as well. That's right, sorry, yes, another three. I'll, I'll be taking them tomorrow morning. Believe it or not, Scotty, looking onto the castle when I was looking at
looking out the window and they had the flag, the big pole, and they had the Pride flag on, on it. And believe it or not, it's Pride weekend here in Carlisle. Ah. It's going to be within inside the castle tomorrow. Wow, how very interesting. So the, the castle will be full of uh, LGBTQ plus I uh, folk. Uh, so I think the city centre will be very busy tomorrow. Well, I think they should include LGBT plus S. Yes, straight. Yes. You know, get the straights involved as well and get everybody yeah, singing from the same hymn sheet. There as well. yeah, I, I think uh, hopefully it'll be a good atmosphere. But sadly, um, around the corner where I'm staying at the centre, there was lots of flowers at a doorway um, and inquired about it. Sadly, a young man got stabbed here last Saturday. Oh, how sad, yes. He lost his life. Um, it was a fight. Um, young, young people, someone... One of them got battered, went home, came back, stabbed the poor boy, and they're still on the run. They're still on the run to this day. I think they know who they are, but they still to catch them. How tragic. How tragic, Karim. A young life gone. I yes, think. a young life gone. Absolutely, indeed. And uh, thank you so much for your call, Karim. I hope you have a lovely holiday weekend. You deserve the best. Thank you. I'll give you a wee call tomorrow night, Scotty. Fantastic. Hey, I think you do. Take you do, Kareem. What a great guy. That's Kareem on his holly bags in Carlisle, of all places. Not Carlisle, actually, I should have said. It's Carlisle. That's what it's all about. Now, who have we got in the chat tonight? Happy Friday, Scotty, says Angel. Same in Cheshire, says Kevin. Take you do, sir. Take a buyer, says Margaret. Bless you, Margaret. We're doing very, very well, thanks to people like your good self. Nettie says, think you do, Scotty, from the Soup Dragon. We love you, Soup Dragon, you and your man. Happy evening, happy Friday evening, says the wonderful Nilo Gormley down in Bournemouth. George says, good point, Scotty, discrimination, not to include the streets. Absolutely. There we are. We'll go live on TikTok. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? There we are. Some daft day. I don't know. What are people like? Right, to your telephones as quickly as possible. You've got the number across the bottom of the screen. You're watching the internet phone in with Scotty McClue. Try and get watching on Twitch. If you're a Twitcher, I need to build my Twitch watching audience up. That's the live watching audience. Dinky do. Kareem's sent us a lovely message there. Uh, good point, Scotty. Absolutely. Dinky do, Scotty McClue. I thank you, Kareem. Lovely to have you with us. And uh, get everybody joining. If you're watching right now, please share on your social media. Share Scotty McClue's phone in, the internet phone in, on a Friday night between 10 and 11. Dinky do, you're live on Scotty's phone in. Uh, Jerry. Jerry, how are we? Uh, very good. How are you? I love that when you do it. Jerry. And uh, you say you're not bad? And I say I'm not bad at all. In fact, I would say I was very, very good. Sober? Oh, sober as a judge for the last uh, eight years. Aye, aye. Well, okay. I'll crack the jokes. I'll, I'll crack the jokes. Yes, I haven't touched a drop of alcohol in eight years. Eight years. Oh, God. That's not oh, bad, God. is it? That's good. So good. I've saved a few uh, quid there. Aye, good. And what with the smokes, the pipe? Nothing. 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 Nothing for 22 years. Oh, good. So that's good, and, isn't it? Uh, uh, any of that bad stuff, the wacky. The no, wacky. never, ever, ever did. Never, ever, ever will. Never, never. Just a waste of time giving somebody else your money. Uh, I ask you that as well. Absolutely. Uh, Greetings from Scapa Flow in Texas. And hey, hey, says everybody on the TikTok. How amazing is oh. that? Good evening, TikTokers. Absolutely. You're watching Scotty McClue's phone in. Yes, and uh, what's his boy? Is your boy down in Carlisle? The boy's in Carlisle on holiday. Oh, that's good. Oh, you've sent him off to, to, um, to Carlisle on holiday. That's good. That's good stuff. Now then, Jerry, what can I do for you? What can you do for me? You said earlier that uh, TikTok, you were born 58 years after the end of World War One. That's right. 
Aye, I see that, and they've got a figure of you're now twenty-one. Sorry. Absolutely. No, I didn't. Th I don't think we said fifty-eight years. Was it not? Did we not say? So wait a minute. The first World War finished in nineteen eighteen. Yes. Right. So that would be. So wait a minute. So thirty-eight years. Thirty. Uh, sorry. All right. I've got you. I oh, saw. So I've not got you. I mean, I I don't know what I said. I may have said that, but I meant thirty-eight years. Oh, thirty. I think you did. Yes. Try to calculate Yes. Uh, you speak about cars. What yes. Was your first car. My first car was a 1952 Austin Somerset, which cost me the prince's sum of £20. Oh, and did you pay off? Yes, uh, two tenors. <laughs> Good. And do you remember its registration? Yes, I do. I do. Absolutely. It was a London registration on one of the old black number plates with yellow figures, and it was three letters and three numbers. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, that, that car again, sorry, I never cut the car, was it? Uh, 1952 Austin Somerset, A40 Somerset in uh, Dove Grey. And do you remember how many owners? Uh, three. Three, was Three owners, Four. absolutely. And it had been in largs and one wing was rusted because it had been parked in the seafront. Oh, right, right. Sonic Lark. Uh -huh. I know it well. But it was a London car. It was registered in London, and I've still got the original logbook. Oh, the logbook. But apparently it doesn't. The buff logbook, but it doesn't entitle me to the number. Oh, you don't have to, you, oh, the car was scrapped in something like 1974, I think. Mm. And she had 525 by 16 wheels. Great big narrow wheels held on by brass nuts. And were they wooden, those wheels? Aye, absolutely. <laughs> Aye, like the old wagon. Uh, Made by the blacksmith. <laughs> well, that was good. Had to, had to get that. Oh, you have, you have to get all that sorted. So that's you up to date, Jerry. Good, good. And uh, we'll continue with the phone calls. We will indeed. Lovely to hear from you and have a lovely Thank evening. You. Happy Friday, dinky do. There we are. That's our Jerry on for a wee chat. Yes, my first car, 1952. Take a bow for being you, Sir Scotty, and you, Margaret. It's uh, to educate the people who are really educated in the subject of equal rights. Dave DeBrake. Hi, Scotty. Hi, chat. Welly song. Lovely to have you with us. It's Welly song. Homosexuality has been frowned upon for centuries. Equal rights as a street, I say. Absolutely. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Uh, you call me a fucking uh, no, I think we might have, yes. And I think we'd have to do it again, but without the swearing. So there you are. So we'll just call you a dafty. All right, a dafty. That's what you are, a dafty. Angel, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us, dinky do. Uh, Pablo on here. Hello from uh, 1400 Church in Ecclesfield. Seaborg, Andy. How brilliant is that? There we are, Dinky Doo from East Lothian, says the tiger. Dinky Doo Boyle. I like the look of this, guys. As you know, it's your boy. Fantastic. Lovely to have you all with us on TikTok. So there we are. Now then, hi from Coles Norton. We love you in Coles Norton on TikTok. Dinky Doo, if you've just joined us, folks, and you're wondering what on earth's going on, you're watching the internet phone in with me, Scotty McClue. It's Friday night. Nothing gets past me. Share it right now. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClue is live just for you saying dinky do. I'll just do a little bit of camera adjustment there. Fantastic. That's what we want. That's Ah, that's a lot better. I thank you for that. There we are. Scotty is shutting down the trolls. He's away, big daddy. Away, doing the swanny, the wee trolley poly. Oh, no, Suzanne, I like YouTube. Ah, Jerry, excellent. If you're on YouTube, get on, subscribe, tap the bell. We need to be building and building and building on YouTube. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Very, very important. That's what we like. Dinky-doo, if you're on TikTok. Dinky-doo, everybody. Thank you 
the tiger says, Dinky do to you, I say. Dinky do from Houston. Is that Houston, Texas or Houston, Renfrewshire? There we are. Uh, I'm English. Thank you very much. You are indeed, Jack. You are English. Uh, Delaware, thank you very much. Lovely to have you with us. Thank you very much. Uh, Port Call here in Wales is having an Elvis weekend where you'll see a lot dressed up as Elvis. Are you sure Elvis himself is not over in Port Call? I say to you, uh, no, I'm the same. I love you, Tube Jerry. But uh, if I wanted to move elsewhere, I would, yes. Well, guys, get on to Twitch and follow Scotty underscore McClue and watch me on Twitch. I need to have another two or three of you watching me, and then we can get an affiliate ship. Hello there, Scotty. I was just thinking God made a fabulous rainbow until a television producer decided to bring George Bungle and Zippy. I liked George Bungle and Zippy on Rainbow. I used to introduce it on ITV. I would say, and our programs for schools and colleges will be back tomorrow morning at the same time. Now it's time for our programs for younger viewers, and we're going to join George, Jeffrey, Bungle, and Zippy in today's Rainbow. There we are. That was the announcement, I think. I don't think I've lost it. My grandfather used to tell me about Scotty's fun in shows and all the characters on it. Oh, Pablo, the characters are just amazing. Right, can everybody share it? If you're watching on Facebook, then please do get sharing. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe, tap the bell, and share the YouTube channel to every day. And a nice warm week in Skegness, Scotty. Got back today and can't wait for the next trip. We love it. Have you watched the Peaky Blinders, Scotty? Dinky do division. Peaky Blinders. Fantastic. We love it. There, I can't see for the Peaky Blinders. What's going on here? Now, are we a bit dark on the old TikTok there? Uh, should we do, shall we up it a notch? How's that? Is that a bit lighter, guys? How's that for lighting where you are? Which town in the UK, Scotty, produces the most amount of salt? Robert Scrimger, very good. Which town in the UK produces the most amount of salt? That's a very interesting one. I'm just trying to think. Are there not salt flats down in Essex? There we go. And have we got salt, 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 salt? Turn the big light on. I think we should put on the big light. Yes, and see see what's to do. There we are. I don't want to fall off my seat. I've done that before. Absolutely. Yes, indeed. I know what you mean. I uh, just spent today watching a different kind of double act, Tommy Cannon. And Bobby Ball, very, very good, Ryan. A couple of professionals, wonderful stuff. And uh, what's a good holiday destination in Scotland? I need ideas. It depends what you're looking for, Welly Song. You know, I mean, you could go to the borders, Salt Coats, very good, Duncan Garden. Southwest Scotland, says Pablo. Thank you, do Pablo. How lovely to have you with us. Yes, we are a bit dark on the old TikTok. I might move it over a bit and see if we can get you a wee bit more light there. It does look a little bit dark, I have to say. Uh, wait a minute, can I do some stuff? Uh, I think that would cause us to shape. If I started moving things around, we might end up with a wee bit of a problem. Fantastic. Kipford, Rockcliffe, Anglesey in Wales, seemingly, says Robert. Yes, the salt flats is the salt flats in Anglesey? I don't know. Right, I wonder if I can get this moved around a bit to give you a bit more light. Just bear with me, guys. Right, and we'll see what's what. So we might go a little bit dark, just very temporarily. And uh, I'll see if I can get a bit more light for you. That's what it's all about. There we go. Of course, there's so many cables here now. We've got cables going everywhere. Wonderful stuff. Any better? Fantastic. How's that looking? Does that give us a better light, would you say? There we are. We don't want to be not well lit on the old phone in, I say. Nairn was nice. Fastest town in Scotland. Nairn. Anywhere in Dumfries and Galloway, my birthplace. 
says Dave DeFrave. Were you born in Anglesey, Dave? Wonderful stuff. Uh, Scotty, hello from Carlisle, says Kareem. Brilliant, says Ty Talk. Is that okay? Is that better for the lighting, Ty Talk? I think we can maybe even get you a little bit brighter than that. Uh, but leave it with me. Let's uh, do one thing at a time. <laughs> I love it. Right. What's that doing? Okay. Everybody happy now? Uh, you look okay, Scotty, says Nettie. Thanks, Nettie. Delighted, Sir Scotty. Thank you, Margaret. Hang on a sec, guys. We're needing a quick mop down. Whew. These studios are so warm. They just roast you. Absolutely. Yes, indeed. The Welsh, they're brighter on YouTube too. How's it looking on Twitch? Can somebody go on to Twitch and watch on Twitch for a bit? Thank you. Scotty underscore McClue. That's the one. So check out the picture. Perfect. Perfect, says Chris. Chris, thank you. There's uh, Peru. There we are. Did you fly for the RAF? Uh, no, I didn't fly for the RAF. Are we coming up to Battle of Britain Sunday? Is it not usually September? Brighter on YouTube. Check us out on Facebook, please, for the lighting. Check us out on Twitch. Anybody watching on LinkedIn, right, at Scotty McClue on LinkedIn. Yes, big social media on there. Uh, I'm on Twi on I'm on Twitch. You look fine and dandy. Nettie, thank you very much. Can you watch me on Twitch for a bit? Share it with all your Twitch friends. And have you followed Nettie? Because all these things are so important when we're building up the phone in. And it's very, very, very basic stuff. On the radio, you don't need it. Craig McGregor says, you keep ignoring me. When would I ever ignore you? Geez, I thought Oliver Reed was alive again. Morning, the Duke of Dundee. That's a huge compliment. Oliver Reed was an outstanding actor. There we are. No, I didn't fly for the RAF at all. What made you think I may have? But I can tell you the procedure for takeoff and the Spitfire. There we are. The lights are fine. Absolutely fine. Perfect, brother. Thank you very much. I don't want anybody to lose. I thought it was a wee bit dark on the TikTok at first. But we seem to have tidied that up, guys. So that's rather good. Absolutely amazing. 10th July to 31st October, the Battle of Britain. Yeah, but Dave, check out when Battle of Britain Sunday is. So there we are. Uh, Pablo used to listen to Scotty on Scott FM with my mum. Great memories of the phone lines were jammed always. And it was brilliant. Angel, thank you very much. Dave Deprave, 1940. Uh, the Battle of Britain, yes, indeed. 1940, that's right, September. 1940 up to September 1940. Am I correct there, guys? Get that checked out as well, if you don't mind. Now, I'll just see what's happening with the old phones here. Is anybody trying to get through and can't? Let's just see what's happened. Check everything. No, everything should be fine on the phones. So, you want to ring up, feel free to do so. Uh, sneezing all day, Jerry, runny nose, filling blunt. Thanks for asking, Suzanne. You must look after yourself, my dear. Let's see if we can chase this cold. Wonderful stuff. Now, uh, lots of good things happening for you here on uh, Facebook and on YouTube and on Twitch. I want to build everything up. Facebook, of course, used to be absolutely huge for the Facebook Lives. But I see that's dropping back a little bit just as a platform. A LinkedIn, lovely to have you with us. I've got 10,000 people follow me on LinkedIn. We need to get the message out there. Twitch, of course. Tell everybody on Twitch. Twitchers are Twitchers. Let's start a whisper. So if you can get whispering with all your gaming pals on Twitch, we should be able to build that YouTube then subscribe and tap the bell. It's not rocket science, I say to you. Uh, I'm on twice. There we are. Oh, sorry, I'm on Twitch. <laughs> I'm not drinking honest, says Nettie. No, 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 no. Lighting all okay on Facebook, Stephen Menzies. I thank you very much. You're a great man. And we love our live Facebook. So there we go. Now then, 
What do we got here? Hello, one and all, says Kareem. Thank you, do Kareem. Wonderful. I don't understand what you mean about Sunday. 15th October 1940 was a Sunday, but I'm sure we celebrate it. No, no, Dave. Dave, for years and years and years, since the Second World War, this country has acknowledged Battle of Britain Sunday. And I have a feeling it's the last Sunday in September. So could you look up Battle of Britain Sunday? I can't because all my devices are maxed. Could you look up Battle of Britain Sunday and tell us when it is? Thank you. <laughs> you see, to be honest with you, Dave, sometimes it's easier just to follow the instructions. There we are. No problem, Suzanne, just in case you need a script. We so. Suzanne's wonderful. Angel, I've heard a few phone-ins on YouTube. Fantastic. I thank you, Pablo. Very, very much appreciated. Thank you to everybody on TikTok. Uh, no, I've been through whilst the cold isn't going to get me down, Jerry. Absolutely. Scotty, where can I get a badge? Pablo, once we become internet famous, so in other words, we get crowds listening, the same as we had on the radio, then you are talking badges. We will get the merch out there and make sure everybody's got a Scotty McClure badge. Do you like it? I keep a spare one round the back just in case that one breaks down. So there you are. Can you see that? Scotty McClure says, dinky do. There we are. Fantastic. The badges from the phone ends, and we always have them handy for you. You're watching Scotty McClure across the world. Get on to YouTube, to LinkedIn, to Twitch, and to Facebook Live. Dinky do. And not on Google or my calendar, says Dave. Right, Dave's struggling. Dave, you chill out. You relax. Can somebody else tell me when Battle of Britain Sunday is? Thank you very much. Lol, Scotty, says Suzanne. Did you like that one, Suzanne? A wee touch of McClure there. We always keep a spare, you see. Tremendous. Now, who have we got on TikTok? What's happening to your night shows on Scott FM? Bring back the dinky do. There we are. Scott FM is no longer. It's gone. Evening, McClure. You're all right. Do you like the golf, Scott? I don't dislike the golf. I just, A, know nothing about it. And B, I've never, ever played. You know? And a guy said to me one time, very surreptitiously, Scotty, I think I could get you in here. It was a very, very, very exclusive golf club. He said, I think I could get you in here. And I said, well, don't put yourself out because I don't golf. <laughs> Battle of Britain Sunday was the 15th of September. Right, last week. Thank you, Mr. Goatface. There we are. So you can relax now. Dave Deprave, Battle of Britain Sunday was last week. I thought so, but I thought it was near 24th. My parents married on this day 73 years ago. Isn't that wonderful? Tremendous. Evening, Scotty. It was broad talking to you on the phone. Frickard Coddy, Ken, 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 fantastic. Loved Kirkcaldy, dinky do. Window stickers, yes, we'll get all that beachy beachy. Right, guys, see when Scotty McClure's ready to go. Merch. What sort of merch would you like? We commemorated it on the 18th of September. There is no Bob Sunday. Yes, Dave Deprave, there's Battle of Britain Sunday. You're not listening. You're still argy-barging. There is definitely Battle of Britain Sunday because they always put Reach for the Sky on, uh, but we just need to know what day it was, and apparently it was last Sunday. Are we all sorted? The Royal Highnesses, the Prince of Wales, the Duchess of Cornwall attended a service of thanksgiving and rededication on the Battle of Britain Sunday at Westminster Abbey, Sunday the 19th of September 2021, four days ago. So we're four days late from Battle of Britain Sunday. Dave Dupre, are you sorted? Dave's going, no, there is not. Dave, trust me, if McClue tells you it's right, it's right, okay? Have you got that? That's the news. Oh, just going to have a wee drink of water. It's roasting in here. Fantastic. Great program. Thank you very much, Jerry. 
Mm. That is absolutely gorgeous. Absolute bliss, I see. Tremendous stuff. Right, I'll pop that back up there. There we are. We'll get that later for my pleepies. Tea towels with Scottish face on it. Pablo, yeah. You need to get your face on the tea towels. No backing out now, as Diana's sister said to her before they're all wedding. Your face is on the tea towels, Dutch. Ah, oh, poor Diana. I don't know. Right, there we go. Yes, tea towels. Uh, evening, Scotty Dinky. Uh, greetings from Sterling, Mr. McClure. The best. Norma Stitz. Thank you, Norma. Battle of Britain victory was a WW2 deal breaker. You're quite right, Chris Mack. It was indeed. Nothing gets past you, La. We love it. How's only 13 people watching on TikTok? Well, you're going to get that all the time, but you'll find that they come and go. So it'll be a different 13, a different 11, a different 20. I mean, last Sunday I popped up 40,000 likes on TikTok. So there we go. Remember, you've just got to keep putting the word out there. You'll probably find we'll cover a few thousand tonight. There we are. So it's not actually 13. It's 30 people scrolling. Fantastic. Send TikTok 5. Thank you, Mr. Goatface. I want a mug, says Beachy Beachy. You want a Scotty McClue mug? Hmm. They do exist, you know. You don't last for 30 years on radio and not have merch. Fantastic stuff. Woo! It's so warm in here. Just incredible. Right, I need to open the window. Scotty, run a contest. Who is your biggest fan? I think my biggest fan, who would you say my biggest fan was? There's lots and lots of mega Scotty McClue fans who have stuck with me for 30 years. Right? People down in Lancashire are still in touch. Here we go. Badges, pens, key rings, cups, autograph book for merch, so Scotty. I'm going to put your announcement up, Margaret. Here it goes. There's Margaret's announcement for you guys. What do you think of that? How good is that? Share, share, share. There's Angel. Share, 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 share. There we are. Fantastic. Here's Jerry. Jerry says, if you're looking for a sales rep merchandising to promote McClue, I'm in there. Thank you very, very much. How good are you guys? Just incredible. Now, let's see what's happening here. We better get the old captions back on for you. Let you get going on the phone in. Anybody been phoning in tonight and can't get through, do let me know until uh, I see that everything's working. I think that's very important. So I'll just check that, see everything's working there. Yep, it should be. Uh, somebody want to do a test call? Kareem, if you're still watching and you're out the bath, do you want to give us a wee test call till I see that the phones are working all right tonight? So we, while since we've had a call, and we're normally stowed out the door and step it through on a Friday night. What do you think about the double? Oh, well, we don't go into any of that, the property bus. We don't discuss that. Nothing to do with the pandemic will be discussed out here. You get too much of that on mainstream media. So there we are. So we don't go into any of that. Fantastic. Now... And um, what do we got here? It's not what the Battle of Britain was about, freedom from communism. Freedom from communism. Well, no, I think it's freedom from Nazism. So I don't know if you could really call Hitler a communist. Stalin certainly was, you know, or stood for that sort of stuff, you know, that kind of idea. Right, back to the super chat. We'll see what's what. Scotty, your phone is engaged all the time. Right, Rab? So there's a problem with the phone. Okay. Let me see if I can get down to the bottom of that one. Find out what's actually happening. It shouldn't be engaged. You should be able to get through. So we'll see what's what. All right. Yes, indeed. There we are. Everybody should be able to get through. Uh, Karim, put your towel around you when you call Scotty, says Jerry. That's right. And uh, Nettie says, I've been a Scotty fan for years. There we are. Beanie hats with dinky-doo, 10 to 2. Tell 10 to tell 10. 
Ferguson's deserved better from the Scottish government, says Big Daddy Tate. They were, I actually knew the Fergusons. You're live with Scottish phone in, who's that? Hello, Scotty, it's Paul from Blackpool, how are you? Paul, we love you in Blackpool, dinky do. I was only phoning up to say thank you for bringing all this back together on YouTube and Twitter and Twitch and everything else. We're hearing you loud and clear in sunny Lancashire. I love that, Paul. It is such a privilege for me to be live streaming across Lancashire and Yorkshire. Well, we miss you down here now, but after Red Rose and Century and everywhere else. So uh, uh, we're delighted that you're back and uh, we're telling ten to tell ten. Tell 10 to tell 10, Paul, because we had some of the most fantastic shows in Lancashire and the northwest of England. So, uh, uh, absolutely. How, how long were you here for? Was it, was it, uh, wasn't it in the well, I was down there from 92 to 94, and then I was back down from 98 to 2000. My goodness. So, so four goodness. solid years, three hours every night. And we loved every second of it, both me and the callers. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Or I should say the listeners as well. Yeah, absolutely. Are you okay? We're fine, Paul. Absolutely lovely to hear you. And I'm so glad to hear from Blackpool because in a holiday weekend, <coughs> I would quite often, I would do the show Sunday to Thursday, and then I would pop off to Blackpool on a Friday night. And we'd go dancing all night. Uh, absolutely. I bet you were one of the last to go to your bed. Yes. And we used to then pop into an hotel for breakfast about four o'clock. <laughs> People be running about. Would you like some more toast? <laughs> uh, there's, there's only one four o'clock in the day these days, isn't there? Just by, uh, yeah. Such a shame because poor old Blackpool. How are things, Paul? Are you getting back on your feet? I don't know what the council have done with the money over the years. It's such a shame, you know, it's starting to look a little bit run down. Yes. We spent a lot of money on the promenade. It's still pulling in visitors. The shows and attractions are starting to uh, 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 kind of come alive again. So it is what it is, isn't it? Absolutely, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. If you want to, you want to be posh, you can go along to Liberman. And oh, lovely, yes, we could go along there. And of course, uh, if you're old enough, then it's the law to live in Lytham, is it not? <laughs> well, all the great service here, of course, uh, uh, up in Lytham, there was Les Dawson. Yes. Uh, uh, Little George Bondby. Yes. And I, I remember just when I came to Red Rose, Les passed away. And his funeral was at the Little White Church at Lytham. Right there on Piston Drive. Yes. Right, and the same church he was married in. Yes, and I was so sorry because it, I was such a fan. I would love to have met him. And uh, my bosses at Border Television knew him very well. Yeah. You and know? He's got a, a lovely statue beside St. Anne's Pier now. Oh, good. I'm very pleased. I'm going to go there tomorrow. I'll take a photo and send it to you. You're an absolute angel, Paul. It's so lovely to hear you. Love to you and to Blackpool. And to you. Thank you, do, sir. Thank you so much. That is just a joy. Isn't that absolutely lovely? Well, we know the phones are working, guys, so no excuses. Uh, stay on till 10.30, Scotty. An hour's not long enough at the weekend. I know what you mean, angel. Uh, so there we are. Um, Blackpool will be jumping at the moment, September weekend. Let's hope so. Blackpool deserves the best. Hi, Scotty. I'm in the pub with my friends. We're going to the match tomorrow in Edinburgh. What's your thoughts, Mr. McClure? Gary, just behave yourself, son. That's my thoughts. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I was at Blackpool six years ago. I was shocked at how run down it looked. Absolutely love it, too. The Pleasure Beach closed at 6 p.m. So, San, what a shame. I had many... A wonderful night in Blackpool. I was spoiled, fated. Here goes Sky McLean's through in the back bar. Ah, how we? 
you know, fantastic. So <laughs> cool. I can remember a friend of mine telling me he had all these guys from Scotland down and he was DJing at one of the pubs and um, the people the people had got a bit too much of the wet stuff and they were getting out of order and they were actually making him a bit anxious. Anyway, he plucked up a wee bit of courage, his reserves, and he says to them, hey, see if there's any more of your carry on, I'll get my big mate Scotty McClue on you. Well, they said, do you know Scotty McClue? He goes, oh, aye. And they behaved themselves for the rest of the night. I loved it. Fantastic. Uh, Dinky do the, the, the DJ says, he says, my stock shot up. <laughs> I was at Blackpool six years ago. Yes, indeed, says Suzanne. I'm so sorry to hear that. Uh, what have we got here? Uh, JD Donnelly says, uh, for merch, she would like to see Man From Uncle Badges. Now, those of you who know Scotty McClure will know what he means. What did you have for dinner? Dinner tonight was outstanding. I had fresh burgers, uh, pure burgers, I mean. I had Yorkshire pudding, and I had um, cauliflower in white sauce. It was just beautiful. Thank you very much. Off to Blackpool tomorrow, visiting our favorite chippy at Bispam. Fabulous cakes at this chippy restaurant. Wonderful. Does anybody remember going out for a fish tea? I always remember we kind of recaptured it with Harry Ramsden's, you know, but I remember going out for a proper fish tea, a fish restaurant on a Saturday. And luxury was to have uh, the fish not battered, but in breadcrumbs and a slice of lemon. And used to get old ladies beautifully dressed up to go out for their tea on a Saturday and they would say, oh, the fish was lovely too. Just lovely. You say, hello, Mrs. McDonald. Were you out tonight? Yo, son, I was out. Yes, my nephew took me out for a fish tea, son. And, oh, the fish was lovely. I like all that. Isn't that beautiful? There we are. Who have we got here? Angel Dinky Do. Lovely to have you with us. Nettie, sounds delicious. Have a great time. Oh, can anybody remember a high tea? Is there anybody watching who knows what I mean by a Scottish high tea? There we are. Do tell us, I say, hello, Scotty. What's the news in Scotland, Scotty? Everything, Debbie. We are having the time of our lives. What have we got here? Share this. Uh, so there you are. What's chilling? Nothing's chilling, everything's toasty here. How do you stay so humble when you know you're integral? Chris, for goodness sake, I'm just a wee human being, the same as you and everybody else, but we, we get right in there. The big attraction is that everybody feels they can talk to Scotty McClure, and I love that. You can't be unstruther, says Jordan, meaning instar, for a fish supper. I love that. You always got bread and butter with a fish tea. Yes, McTeeth. You did. You did, McTeeth. You got the bread and butter. Uh, is Harry Ramsden still in the go in Scotland or down south? Not too sure, Jerry. I haven't been for a wee while. So there we are. And, of course, Harry was a Yorkshireman with his own fish shop. And then uh, it got franchised out. And I loved a fish tea at Harry Ramsden's. Talking about fish and chips went to Cornwall, 25 quid. They were asking a portion. Are you kidding? I got two pieces of fish, a box full of chips, freshly cooked, for five quid. Used to be at the Glasgow Quay, Jerry. It's fine now. Uh, buffet restaurant. There we are. Uh, so gone, so Suzanne. Is that right, Suzanne? I haven't seen it for a while. Uh, I've got friends in Putney, says Chris. Ah, Putney. Yes, indeed. Now, uh, is it not the boat race? Does the boat race not go Hammersmith to Putney? Am I correct? Alapool fish supper is the best, says Big Daddy. Yes, and I'll tell you where to go. Um, I remember going, you're live on Scottish Funny, who's that? Scottish. 
Gary from East Kilbride, how you doing? Gary from East Kilbride, what a privilege. Long time no here. Far, far too long. Don't you dare leave it so long next time. Oh, I know it's been a long time. <laughs> I'm just had a pop up and a few light refreshments. You've had a light refreshment, yes, absolutely. Scotty, Scotty, you know what? See your channel is absolutely fantastic. Are you enjoying it, honestly? Yes, it's been four weeks, three weeks. Four, it's four weeks tonight, I think, is it? Yes. Tell 10 to tell 10. Tell 10 to tell 10. I think, I think, Gary, this is our fourth Friday night. Fourth, yeah. Fourth. So that's us been at it. Four weeks. I used to phone you up Q96, remember? Brilliant. Loved it. What a lot of nonsense we had there. It was fabulous. That was a great radio station. I'm absolutely fine. Thank you for asking. Yes, I did. I'm just delighted at the way the phone in's going. Yes, absolutely fantastic. You know, from Little Acorns, Great Oaks Grow, Gary. Yes, and you know what, Alice, the Grow, the station gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Absolutely. Everybody's always doubted me. You get all these half witted people going, ah, that'll no work, that'll no work. And then suddenly it works and they're all going, I always knew you'd do it, Scotty. Yeah, yeah, Scotty, I've talked to my pals, right, in the pub, and my pals got a way to put us uh, as an independence march in Edinburgh. Oh, right. And so they're all talking about Drex. I, I'm not a politic man. No. Self, you know, and I'm like, oh, I'm not interested, you know. Absolutely. I, I'm interested, but I'm not. Not impressive, you know. Do you go on any of these marches at all then, Gary? No, my, pal, my pal's going to march tomorrow in Edinburgh. Right. And this is for the independence? Yes. So my pal's, my pal was like, who do you vote for? I goes, I don't vote. Well, maybe I should start voting, but I don't. But Listen, if you don't want involved in politics, you don't need to be. I mean, I'm apolitical myself, but I mean, I've got plenty of comments on it. Hey, Jack. You know, that's what it's about. I, I, I'm, I'm like with Scotty. I'm like with Scotty McClure's show. Scotty McClure. Absolutely. I've got, I've got with Scotty McClure. Thank you, do it, Scotty McClure. You know Scotty McClure, do you? I'm probably with uh, Scotty. Yes. My pal, Charles, why should you say Scotty McClure? Hello, Scotty. Hello, Dinky Doo. What's up, man? Hey. Wait. Good to hear you, Dinky Doola. Hi. Wait, How fabulous is this? Tremendous. Fantastic. That's my pal Jack. Yeah. Now listen, I think that's amazing, Gary. You two have a great night and Dinky Doola. It's got a good take care of yourself. And we'll we'll catch up soon. And the rest of the channel. You so have a lovely night. Fantastic. What a nice guy. Dinky do love to his school bride, I say. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Dinky Doo. Dinky Doo, who's this? It's the Soup Dragon. It's who? The Soup Dragon. Soup the Dragon. Day. How are you, my darling? I didn't recognize you at first. Uh, how are you doing? Oh, well, right. darling, I am just amazed at this phone in. I know, it's good, isn't it? You know, I can't believe how quickly it's building. I I need more people watching on Twitch when we're live. That's good. You know, so I need to get that, and I also need everybody on YouTube to start subscribing. Oh, they will do. They will do. Go back, go back to that fish and chips. Yes. We went, we went down Cornwall in July. Right. Because, uh, we went camping, and the thing is. They've all, they've, um, they've just ripped people off. It's a shame because everybody could go abroad. Uh, all right, we'll go down there. Yes. And because of that, and because of what's gone on for the last two years, it's just up the prices and it's wrong. Do you know what worries me, Soup Dragon? Everything in this country used to be really good value. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I can actually remember a fish supper at half a crown. <coughs> no, you're you're a lot you're older than me. <laughs> well, not much. I've just been on 
I've just had a tough paper round. <laughs> no, that's so uh, honest to God. We, this, we went to Cornwall, must have gone to Cornwall in 96, and we went and we went to the car park and it was £5 all day. And yeah. then they started charging this year £5 for four hours. No. And they knew that people were going to be on that beach all day. Yeah. So that meant... You know, if you think about it, four hours, you're roughly there, like, aren't you, all day. So it costs us, like, 15 quid. Ah, uh, no, it's not It's not right, is it? Taint right. No. No. I feel, it's a shame, it really is. I, I don't think no. that's right. I really don't. No. And they, they just, they've just um, done themselves out of them. You see, I don't understand. I mean, being greedy gets sussed very, very quickly. Well, it does. Of course it does. You know? And that's, I mean, the new thing, I mean, like I said, I'm going to Blackpool tomorrow. And you go there, and I always go to this chippy in Bisbee. And that is, you get the, the tea, the bread and butter, everything, and a lovely fish and chips, and they do the most gorgeous cakes. So yeah. I'm not having any because I've been a good girl, but... Absolutely. <laughs> but there's a really nice chip in that. That's only five of can, can I tell you, Soup Dragon, one of the reasons that I've actually been so successful in broadcasting, and I shouldn't tell you, I'm giving away trade secrets there, but I it came back to me that two bosses were talking and somebody said, how come Scotty McClure is virtually never out of work? He says... Well, he's good value for money. What do you ask? And I thought, well, I love to people. hear that. I was chuffed. Yeah. That's better than a knighthood for me. Yeah. Oh, but I'll tell you what. Look, you're nothing compared to what you... I'm, I'm not in a bad way. I mean, you're a lot like... Um, you're not as... Um, argumentative, shall we say. Well, you can't be oh. because they just shut you down. Really yeah, we did, but that's because my bosses knew me so well and they knew I would never cross the line. The problem that's is, right. if you cross the line on the internet, the game's up. That's it. Yeah. And that's the problem nowadays. They don't want members of the public talking straight. Yeah, it's a shame, really. You that's see, they've told so many whoppers themselves, they don't want yeah. the public talking straight. Well, you can't, it ain't the same, but that doesn't mean we can't talk. Oh, no, no. But it's just nice to talk to you again. Really. It's always lovely to talk, Soup Dragon. And I no. admire you because you've spent all these years cooking. And that is a tough gig. Oh, no, I've changed career now. I've changed career now. Yeah, but that's a tough gig. My mate had an hotel. And he said, I'm short of staff. He says, what are you doing? I said, I'm working for you. So I turned up at hotel, and uh, they put me on the pots. And his missus says, she says, what do we call you, Scotty? I says, pot boy. I says, you don't cross this line. Anyway, I did all the dishes because they're one of them superb machines, you know. And when you got this thing working well, Soup Dragon, everything was spot on. Oh, but can I tell you, see, by the end of the day, we started about seven in the morning and we finished about quarter to midnight by the time we'd get everything. Had a little break during the day, you know, and um, it's your feet, your feet. Oh, my feet were on fire. It's when you're, well, I used to work in a hotel as well. And when you're doing washing pots after 2,000 guests, yeah. And the dishwasher breaks down. Oh, that's it. <laughs> or you've just changed the water and chef comes in and puts a huge pot of cream in it. <laughs> oh, no. You do it by hand. You'll soon know. You'll be glad of a dishwasher. Ah, bless you. Soup Dragon, a joy hearing you. Dinky-doo. Take care. Dinky-doo. Ta-ra, my love. <laughs> Ta-ra, Angel. <laughs> Tell the man I'm asking for him. What a super lady she is. There we are. So what have we got here? Watching on Twitch to get the views up. It's Ty Talk. Ty Talk, thank you so much. Eddie Doyle. Hi, Scotty. Didn't you do the new? They've just got another subscriber, Scotty. Gary, thank you. Can everybody subscribe on YouTube, please? 
So there we are. Alice, oh, Alice and Alex, say hi. Great show, Scotty. Love you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. How fantastic. Alice there, eh, down in the north of England. Are you live on Scotty's phone in? Who's that? Thomas from Glasgow, how lovely to hear you and Dinky Doo. Dinky Doo, you I'm absolutely fine, I tell you. I'm impressed by the people on here. And you've still got your turned up? Yeah, yeah I can't hear you. Yeah, can you hear me? No, uh, well, yeah, have you turned it down? Right, I can't hear in the background. It's coming back to us. I don't know what's going on there. We're getting all the feedback. There we go. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? No, nope, Mr. Nobody. Right, excellent stuff. Let's call the Uber team to deliver. Scotty, what's the high tea? Come on, let's know. Uh, I don't think you'll get a high tea delivered most of the Scottish country hotels and the towns and the villages, you could pop in at five o'clock for a high tea. White cloth job. And you could get a bowl of soup, broth or tomato. You could get steak pie. You could get bacon and egg. Or you could get fish and chips. And then you've got scones and cakes and crumpets. Tremendous. <laughs> and you got the whole lot. High tea, Scottish high tea, fantastic. Scottish lunch, a big plate of steam pudding. They used to have it in things like the Royal Hotel. Tremendous stuff. Uh, now then, you're live with Scottish phone in, who's that? Hello? Oh dear, we're getting these people. Guys, turn your background noise down when you come on and I can't hear you. You can't hear me. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Hello, Scotty. Hello, who's that? It's Thomas from Glasgow. Thomas, that's better. I can hear you crystal clear now. It's just got that me. Your phone's on. All right, that was it. We're just getting feedback all the time. Yeah. Now, how's things with you? I've got too bad apart from I lost, I lost my mum last year. I'm sorry to hear that, Thomas. It's always a tough one, that. Ah, the wee dog there three months ago. We Clyde, yes. Fourteen and a half, Thomas. Some wee, some wee guy, you know, he had his hundredth birthday on Christmas Day. And my wee sister's dog, she get put down as well. So that man, that was thirteen years. Ah, it's you do miss them. It's absolutely tragic, but what a wonderful life these dogs had. Somebody would say to me, if you believe in life after death, Scotty. What would you come back as? I said, one of my Labradors. Because <laughs> they get spoiled. I used to get a row off the gamekeepers for ruining gun dogs. My God. I just used to love them, you know, because they're so clever. And they, of course, had them behaving just so, you know. They'd just go like this, sit down. And the dog would sit down, you know. And then they'd come over to see me and I'd be hugging them and kissing them. <laughs> And they say, stop doing that, you'll ruin the dog. <laughs> How fantastic. This has just been an amazing show tonight, Thomas. Uh, it's good to see you back on again as well. Well, I think, I mean, although I say it myself, I think it is a great idea to bring the phone in back and to bring it back internationally. So tonight we've had calls from Blackpool, we've had calls from down south, We've got people on the TikTok here from America, you know, all that stuff. Uh, well, I've, got, I've got you on TikTok, I've got you on Twitter, uh, Twitter. I've got you on Facebook. Great. And uh, if you can please share and subscribe and tell 10 to tell 10, it'd be amazing. I will do it, Scotty, mate. You know, okay. bless you, mate. What I might do tonight, we're so busy, I might pop down and pop straight back up again. No worries, buddy. Lovely to hear you, and dinky you do. Tarala. Right, stay there, everybody, and we'll pop back and see you in just a few moments.